Hello and welcome everyone. This week we are going to do something different. A few of you have asked for a face reveal, so this is what I look like behind uh, the other side of the lens. So nice to meet you all. I am Dave. Uh, I just wanted to do a little thank you video today. No riding footage, unfortunately, but I wanted to thank everyone who has come along for the ride this year. It's been a pretty incredible journey. So when I started this year, I had about maybe 1,600 subscribers on YouTube, and now I have over 87,000 which is shocking, unbelievable, doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. A few of my riding friends, uh, Dale Stone and Nick, whose van can on YouTube, get those guys a follow, but uh, we're good riding friends, we go out all the time, as you've probably seen in many of my videos, and they kept telling me, you know, you should give this YouTube thing a go, and I've been on Instagram for probably four or five years now, and it's just a little bit easier, you know, you throw up like a 30, 60 second riding clip and you're done, you know, things are all good. And YouTube was always intimidating because the production value that so many people bring nowadays is incredible. I mean, the videos are so amazing. The stuff could all be on TV. And I was like, eh, I don't know, people probably expect much more. They don't want to see me just ride my bike. So I'd kind of been pretty hesitant. But this year I decided to give YouTube a little bit more time and effort and uh, post a bit more consistently. And the response has been pretty incredible. So again, thank you all. Um, for supporting the channel, it's been amazing. Those of you who have been following since earlier this year are probably thinking the same thing as me, like what the heck is going on? This guy had a few thousand followers and now has 87,000, so I don't understand it, but I'm very thankful for it, so thank you again. I thought I would also talk about my three favorite videos this year, so I think just based on the response, Beyond Expert definitely has to be on the list. I'll do it in no particular order, but Beyond Expert, that's the ride I did in Merit. And um, it was pretty incredible. So that was actually filmed in 2020. So I posted, you know, about a year, year after or so. So it's been sitting around on my hard drive for a little while. But, uh, you know, I, I'm laughing the whole time through that video. And it is genuine because I had never really seen any pictures or videos of that trail before. And so what you're seeing, what you, you're seeing me experience is basically just shock and awe at how amazing that trail is because around every corner was just like more incredible wood features. Such an amazing trail. Um, the builders, you know, to, to come up with that and then to build all those stunts and everything, it's just, just amazing. So that's definitely one of my favorites for the year. I'd say another one was riding in the Whistler Valley. So I live in Vancouver, which is about, just about a two hour drive to, uh, to Whistler. And I think many people would expect that I'd spend a lot more time there, but Honestly, one of the best things about living here is we have so many good riding spots that between me and Whistler, there's three in North Shore Mountains, there's riding spots in Squamish, you can go east and go out into the valley, you can go south when the border's open, <laughs> down to Bellingham and do some more riding there. So there's honestly so much riding that I just never had the chance. Uh, so this year was the first time riding in the valley and it was incredible. Such just glorious tech trails, really fun rock rolls, steep techy stuff. A little bit of woodwork, but mostly just really awesome technical riding, and that was one of the highlights of the year. Definitely going to go spend some more time up there next year once the snow is melted. So we definitely have uh, many more months ahead of us before that happens. And I'd say number three on my list would probably be riding on Cypress Mountain, finding the curved skinny. So that's the little S-curve skinny. I, I had seen pictures of it, and I'd been looking for it for probably a couple of years. And I just wanted to know where it was just to see it in person. I thought it'd be really cool. Um, I always love the creativity that trail builders bring um, and how they come up with this stuff. It's just so unique. And uh, so I really wanted to find it. Finally, we did. So I got to ride that with, uh, with Nick and Dale of all people. And it was an amazing time. I mean, that trail is very difficult. Some incredibly steep technical shoots, a couple gaps, drops, um, really cool canoe, like a little hollowed out log canoe that you ride down and of course the curve skinny and so that's also one of the highlights for me this year. Now I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite trails were this year. Um, in terms of ideas for next year, a lot of what I'm going to do is just more of the same, just more POV riding footage. I work full-time, I'm a parent, so there's not a heck of a lot of time for riding. So for me to be able to just strap my helmet on, Mount my camera and just go ride my bike and post that is definitely the best uh, best use of my time these days. So that's what most of my riding footage will be, just trying to find more cool trails and ride them either alone or hopefully with my friends again. 
And uh, I'm also going to try a few tutorial videos, so a few people have asked me about that. Um, I'm not really sure what techniques or what skills I'll focus on, but I'm going to come up with a few and post those hopefully sometime in the spring or early summer. I'm going to do a bike check pretty soon on the MIC site, that's my red and yellow Norco site. Uh, I'm also going to do a GoPro settings video that has been asked for many, many a time, so I'll finally get around to that. Also going to do a video on how to mount your GoPro to get footage uh, like I do, POV footage. And I think I'll also probably do some trials footage. So I posted a few clips of my last video and uh, you guys seem to like it and asking for more. So I'll see what I can find. It's tricky because my trials days are behind me. A lot of that footage is quite old. Most of it was edited into videos that I just used popular music with. I didn't used to post on YouTube, so you don't really have to worry too much about having music rights. I wasn't posting that stuff, uh, you know, just the here, here and there on trials forums and stuff. And so trying to post that kind of music on YouTube is a definite no-go unless you have the rights and the rights costs, I assume a few thousand bucks. So that might not happen. So they'll either be posted with no sound or I'll try and find some raw clips. Maybe those are stored in an old hard drive somewhere, but it's been quite a few years for a lot of that stuff. So see what I can find. I'm also going to do a little bit of e-bike content as well. So I did that video a few weeks ago, just borrowing an e-bike for a day. I actually also bought a used e-bike. Now I know e-bikes are very contentious issues for some people. I used to think they were as well, and then I became a parent. And so anything that saves me a little bit of time and uh, gets me some motivation when it's really cold and just not great out this time of year is quite nice. Never going to replace my normal bike, but it's nice to have a uh, one of those in the stable as well. So I'll try and do some videos explaining just the differences between an e-bike and a regular bike as requested. I also want to take this opportunity to shout out to my sponsors for 2020. So a big thank you to Norco Bicycles, Kinetic Cycles, which is a local shop here in the Lower Mainland I've been with for about five years now, and uh, as well as Industry 9. So Industry 9, I've been riding their Enduro S Carbon Wheel Set and Hydra Hub, so that loud buzz you hear in my videos, that's their hubs working away. So thank you to all my partners for 2020. Uh, I don't have anything formalized for next year yet. There's a few things maybe in the works, but we'll see how things go. Not a lot of bikes out there in the industry right now, so we'll see what we can find. Hopefully I can get a partner on board for next year uh, to support the channel. Otherwise, we'll just sell off all the gear and see what we can find out there in the marketplace. All right, that's way too much talking for one video. I hope everyone has a great holiday and see you guys in the new year for some more riding. Thanks again.